Hello Rebraders, my name is Rigo and on today's video I'm going to give you a Boss 101 so you can know how to move around campus. Because let's face it, you already pay for it, so let's better use it. Let's go with the video. So the most important thing that you need to know is that there is an app that will help you a lot. The name of the app is called Double Map Bus Tracker, which will tell you all the buses that are on campus and also the places where they are going to stop. But I'm going to be honest with you, sometimes the app will tell you that there are no buses around, but that's a lie. Because even if the app tells you that there's no buses available, don't worry about it, they will come, just be patient. So on campus there's two main buses that you will need to know the 41 and the 42. Each bus will take you to the same places, but in different times. The 42 will take you south to the west, and the 41 will take you to the north to the west. If your plan is going to this area on campus, you might want to go to take the number 42. If you want to go to this area first, you might want to take the 41, because the 41 and the 42 will take you to the same places, just in different directions and in different times. Also, the 41 will take you to the University Health Science Center, not to the university, but very, very close to it. And of course, there's many buses that will take you inside and outside campus. If you're a student that lives off campus, you might want to try the 44 and the 45 which are two buses that will take you near the apartment complex here in Lubbock. Also, if you're a student that lives off campus and you want to park your car, most of the parking lots that the students off campus use are really far away off campus. But the 41 and the 42, there are specific places where they will be so you can take them and go wherever campus you need to go. Now, what are some other tips that I will recommend you? Let's go with it. Number one, plan ahead. Remember that the buses are going to stop on some places, so there's a time management that we need to consider. One of the ideas that I got was looking at Google Maps to see how, how much time will it take for the bus to take me to my desired place. So let's say that I want to go to the Animal Science Building. That's a 15 minute drive on bus. But remember that not always the buses are going to be on the stops. So let's plan ahead with that. The time that you will wait for a bus can go from five minutes to 10 minutes to even 50 minutes. Number two, be patient. I know it can be a little stress, like waiting for the bus, like you don't know if you're going to your class, you're going to be late, don't worry about it. Take a deep breath. Remember that your professors are going to understand if you tell them why you were late. But of course, always plan ahead. Number three, enjoy your ride. You're going to be there for a little amount of time, so just enjoy your ride. Put on your headphones, put the best playlist that you can have, and feel that you are in a musical video or something. That's what I do all the time. And it works for me. Sometimes I just feel that I'm like depressing video or sometimes I feel that I'm like in a movie. So it makes you feel special, not going to lie. Number three, always be respectful for the people that are working on the bus. The bus drivers are doing their best to take you to your place. So don't forget to say thank you every time that you're using the bus. So let's do a recap. Number one, always plan ahead. Time is essential when you're taking the bus. Number two, be patient, relax. Nothing bad is going to happen if you're a few minutes late. Number three, be respectful for the bus drivers. And number four, because this one is an extra, enjoy the bus. You're going to go and see places that you had never seen of our beautiful campus. And don't forget that you can always answer any questions in the transportation and parking of Texas Tech. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments down below. And I hope to see you next week. Bye.